Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sam Carlton. I'm the software developer on the product Photoparata Software, the ultimate event photography presentation solution. Today we're going to be talking about how to manage and edit your system path. It's a generic topic that will apply to any type of software on, um, on Windows. So if you'd like to know more information about Photoparata itself, please check us out at www.miltonstreet.com. Um, or check out some of our other videos. Today we're working with Windows 8.1 but the steps here will uh, work on all versions of Windows. As far as I can, I've been working with Windows since uh, back to Windows 95. This will work back to Windows 95 I believe. The uh, follow fundamentally the same steps, it just looks slightly different because Microsoft's changed the UI. One tool that, re that, that is required to, to follow my steps though the way I recommend it is um, this text editor called Notepad++. It's a wonderful tool. Uh, you'll always notice in all my videos I've got, got it down here in the system tray. Can't live without it. It's a free application, um, so you just simply go to the internet. I googled Notepad++. comes up with download. And scroll down a little bit, you see the big green download. Click on that. Download and install the software. So uh, once you have it installed, uh, we can begin. I'm going to min minimize that for now. So where we start is opening up uh, Windows Explorer, going over to my computer, or at least on Windows 8.1, they call it this PC, but it's the little computer icon that's, that contains your local hard drive. So right-click on it, click on Properties, and this is a very useful inf uh, screen, tells you lots and lots about your computer, about the OS, your processor, how much RAM you have, lots of uh, handy dandy things, tells you your computer name, that can be very helpful. But uh, we're going to uh, blow past here and go into change settings. On the system properties, and I'm going to close this window down because it's, and this, a little too much going on there. If we go over to the advanced tab under system properties, we have environment variables. And then in the system variables, we scroll down a little bit and we find path. If we double click on it, notice how the variable value is already highlighted. If we hover over that, we can do copy and then make sure we hit cancel. So we didn't make any changes, we just put it in our clipboard. Now we come over here to the handy dandy notepad plus plus, come up, do an edit paste. Notice how this is a very long line what we're going to do is we're going to break it up. So I'm going to hit the home key on the keyboard to jump to the very beginning of the file. Notice how the cursor is at the beginning now. And then when I go to search down here I'm going to find replace. What I want to do is I want to search for the semicolon because the semicolon so it separates the path. I'm going to replace it with a slash n. Now if this is a fresh installed notepad plus plus down here in search options it'll say normal we want to make sure we select extended. Very important. Otherwise, it really will put a slash in the N in rather than the new line. Because what we actually want to do when we hit replace all, you'll see the effect. Voila, everything now is on a separate line. That's what we're looking for. The case of Photoparata, this the very last line was placed there um, by the Photoparata install. So let's say, I mean, for the sake of this video, let's, let's assume that what we want to do is we want to put the Photoparata path at the very beginning. So we will simply come in here, highlight the whole thing, and uh, do a, and the way I did that highlight, I love using the keyboard. It's so much faster and so much more precise than using the mouse. So I use the home key to jump to the beginning of the line, down arrow key, so that the, the cursor is at the beginning of line five, then I hold the shift key and press the end. When you hold the shift key down, you're highlighting, press the end key, the cursor jumps to the end, highlights everything in between. So now we can go up to edit and do cut. And let's say we want to place that after this. We're going to place it down here and do a paste. At this point, you can go off and rearrange your path to whatever you think is going to work best for your system. This is really the generic part. I can't tell you how best to manage your path. It really all depends on 
what programs you're trying to run, where the conflict is, that type of thing. And this is just an example with Photoprada. Traditionally, the Photoprada path is fine coming after all the system root stuff. So again, I'm just doing this as an example. So I'm going to uh, come back up here to the very beginning of the file. And now what we want to do is we want to get this back into the format that uh, so we can put it back into the system variables. So if we go to edit, I'm sorry, search, replace, we want to flip these guys around. We're searching now for slash n and replacing it with a semicolon. Notice extended is still selected and to replace all. So we'll notice here that for some reason uh, the first line didn't work. I don't know exactly why. Um, when I tried to record this video before, I tried a couple different ways. Don't quite know. So the way we're going to solve this problem, pretty straightforward, is from where the cursor is, we're going to simply hit the, back spa, uh, the backspace to bring that up on the same line. So now I'm going to press the end key because I want to look at the very end. Check that out. We've got a semicolon at the end. Don't think it matters if it's there or not, but since it wasn't there to begin with, let's hit delete and get rid of it. We're going to use that technique I used uh, originally to highlight the line. I'm going to hit the home key to jump to the beginning, hold down the shift key, and press the end key. Then we highlight the whole thing. And now we simply go up to edit copy. Then we come back over here to system properties where it says path. Double click on path and again variable value is always highlighted for, for us. So if you hit delete and then if we hover over this guy and we can come in here and just do a paste. And you'll notice how when we press on the home key we jump to the very beginning of it and we can see right there after that semicolon right here we have we have the Milton Street software now is, is second. Click OK to commit the changes and uh, I'm not going to actually do that because I don't want to change the system right now and then click OK down here Cl on, then click OK. This point to really make this take effect uh, the safest thing to do is reboot a lot of software will just automatically pick up the new settings when you run it so that you don't need to reboot. But if you want to be doubly sure at this point, uh, feel free to reboot. That's the end of this little tutorial. So please, um, if you've got any questions or comments, you can reach me at scarlton at miltonstreet.com. And again, uh, don't forget to check out our software at www.miltonstreet.com. Thanks for taking the time to view our video. Bye-bye.